Entrepreneur Ronald Nair is proud to be a South African and he's passionate about celebrating Africans who are realizing their potential and dreams. As the founder and CEO of the Affluence Group, he heads up a luxury publication which showcases premium grade lifestyle in an African context. Ronald had a cover feature at the exquisite Coin Rock recently and I met up with him for a chat after the shoot. According to its basic dictionary definition, affluence is the state of owning an abundance of money and possessions. But Ronald Nair sees it more as a lifestyle with a focus on luxury, style and quality. In his view, experiences can be counted as riches and he's always on the lookout for something new, unique and exclusive. Quinn Rock is synonymous with opulence and luxury, as is Affluence Magazine and Affluence Black. Today we are meeting up with one of the co-founders of the brand, and that is Ronald Nair. We're going to meet up with him to tell us how this brainchild came to life. Ronald. Zach, how are you? What a pleasure to meet you. Ah, pleasure is definitely mine. This place is so idyllic. What is the connection between Affluence and Quinn Rock? The simple part is they're on the cover of the next issue. And we're just inspired by the innovation and aesthetically what they've done to the place. What inspired you to start the magazine? I think coming from a previously disadvantaged background, we weren't able to see the beauty of what we have to offer on South Africa at large. And seeing some of the venues, especially the Winelands, having such an array of beauty, you kind of feel like a tourist in your own land and we decided to say why don't we do a magazine that allows people to rediscover the beauty of the Winelands. How do locations and collaborations like this one complement your brand? We look at a word called interdependence. We need each other. As a publication that's highlighting the beauty of Africa, this being aesthetically one of the latest things on the scene, we were just privileged to be part in a partnership in telling these stories to a broader audience. What is the purpose of your app, Affluence Black? Affluence has bespoke events and at one of our events, we found out very quick that we had 70 people, five brands, and we had close to six million rand worth of sales within two hours. And we realized there was definitely a gap in the market for people wanting something private within a setting. And we decided to say, why don't we create a private members app for the award system for all our clients, top clients. And in doing that, it just started going viral. Events not only provide a real-world interface between luxury brands and potential customers, but also an opportunity to enjoy the company of the elite. How would you describe your brand? I think the best way to describe Affluence Magazine, I always tell people we in the people business, the industry is luxury. So I would say Affluence Magazine at large is a big community that created an ecosystem for people to exist. Because regardless of where you come from, everybody, anybody want to belong to something. So people belong to what we are doing and who we are as the people that's following us. So let me leave. I'm going to get Cindy, the co-founder of Affluence Magazine. But in the, in the meanwhile, it would be awesome if you guys catch up with Dennis, who is the captain of the ship over here. Sounds lovely. Located less than 10 kilometers from Stellenbosch, this family-owned wine estate has become the darling of discerning diners, travelers and bridal parties who are drawn by the elegant fusion of classic and contemporary elements and the homegrown delights of its cellar. Dennis, thank you so much for having us at your spectacular establishment. Zach, it's nice to have you here. Kunrock has undergone a dramatic reinvention. What was the vision for this? Our philosophy was to create something very special, something the South African can be proud of, and to present international quality to the South African market. How important is it to associate your brand with one such as Affluence magazine? We saw that we targeting the same people. We would like to show them the high quality and um, we're sharing the same philosophy in terms of our approach to these standards. Hey, Zach. Hello. <laughs> Isaac, I'm lovely to meet Cindy, my wife and co-founder. Your beautiful wife. One and only one. <laughs> Cindy, running a magazine isn't all glossy pages and photo shoots. There's a huge business side to it. The fun part is seeing the magazine, the finished product, but the background is the deadlines and the sleepless nights. Just running it down, ensuring that everything is ready for print. But once you've got a strong team, it's bound to be a happy, perfect magazine. How has the online space influenced print sales? 
for the luxury industry, people would always want to touch and feel. We've got a stunning glossy finish to our each publication. So that makes it appealing and just for each and every one to enjoy. Cindy, as a mommy of three, how do you balance work and home? Raising kids is definitely a 24-7 job, but I enjoy it and I'm passionate about my work and I'm passionate about my kids. You just have to juggle both and make it happen. Speaking about juggling kids, let me go get them for dinner. <laughs> Ronald, what is your motto in life? Fundamentally, it's paying it forward. I think the big word would sum up what, what we're all about is interdependence. We all need each other and that's fundamentally what it's about. There's an African proverb that says, if you want to go far, walk alone. If you want to go further, go together. So there's something about going together that makes the journey much, much easier and much more enjoyable. Ronald, what motivates you? Africa, because I, I believe Africa is very much let's say, uncharted territory for, for many. We're so used to telling other people's stories and now the world's out there wanting to hear our stories. So I think that's the thing that drives us, is to allow people into the window of what's happening in Africa and all the good things that's happening and all the good that's coming out of Africa. Family time is important to us. I would be delighted to have you for dinner. How very generous. Fine dining is part of the experience and the restaurant is built as a dialogue between arts, culinary tradition and technical craft. While that may seem like a rather lofty three-sided conversation, the importance of hospitality has not been forgotten and the setting, service and ambiance all contribute to the magic. Look at this! Pairing crunchy rye bread and garlic mousse, the edible cigars add a zany and surprisingly tasty element of novelty to the meal. Cheers! Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! Ah, oh, thank you! From preparation to presentation, there's invention, innovation and artistry in every course. Thank you so much for such a luxurious and incredibly exciting day. To be honest with you, the pleasure is ours. <laughs>